I own a Subaru and tired of hearing this. Me too. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to deactivate or put this chime into sleep mode. Um, so you don't have to hear that anymore. So guys, I've seen this remedy on the internet and TikTok. So let's see if this actually works. Let's see if we can put that annoying chime into sleep mode. Let's get right into it. That's how you rev it. All right, guys, before we get started, disclaimer, I am not telling you not to wear your seatbelt. Um, you should always wear your seatbelt. I just think this chime is a little aggressive. Like, for instance, when I leave work in the afternoon, I have to drive out a gate, and then I have to lock a gate behind me, and the whole time that thing is chiming, chiming. I mean, it's dinging, and it gets louder and louder. I just think it's aggressive. I always wear my seatbelt, but if we can get rid of that chime, that would be super cool. So, like I said, disclaimer, I'm not telling you to wear your seatbelt or anything like that. Follow all the safety rules and wear your seatbelt. Follow the law, all that good stuff. Anyways, so this is a 23 WRX that I'm in now. Um, apparently, to put that chime into sleep mode, you have to turn your car to auxiliary, like just turn it on but not start the car, and then you plug your seatbelt uh, you hold the button on your seatbelt and you plug the seatbelt in 20 times within 30 seconds. And apparently this puts it in the sleep mode until either the car's battery dies or you disconnect the battery. And then it resets it to factory spec. So I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to kind of face it uh, to this seatbelt buckle as best I can. But guys, let's see if we can put that chime into sleep mode. All right, guys, let's put one of those annoying chimes to sleep uh, before we do the seatbelt thing. So when you turn the car off... The reminder to look in rear seat, that'll uh, chime and ding as well. So let's turn the car on, but not start it. Let's go to car. And down here, guys, rear seat reminder. Let's turn that off. So now let's see if that chime goes away since we turned that off. Yes. One chime eliminated. Now let's see if we can do the seatbelt chime trick. All right, so I'm gonna film this the best I can. So we're gonna hit it twice to turn it on. All right, guys, so you hold this and you click it in and out 20 times within 30 seconds. All right, hopefully that was 20 times. It's hard to, uh... all right guys, hopefully that was 20 times. I'm a little big in the midsection, so it was hard to uh, do that. But anyways, let's see if that worked. Uh, I'm gonna just drive it down the road, see if that chime is any softer or non-existent. <laughs> oh, guys, that actually worked. That is so awesome. Like I said, guys, I don't condone anybody for breaking the law or uh, not wearing your seatbelt. But, man, it's going to be ultra sweet to be able to drive across the lot at work and to uh, lock the gate without this thing dinging and jinging. So, let's get back to the garage and uh, I'll end this video. All right. We're just going to take a little stroll around the neighborhood just so you all can see this really did work. Like I said, this thing in my seatbelt is absolutely not on. I know it's dark, but uh, yeah, my seatbelt is not on at all. When I roll into the garage in a minute, I'll show you it's not on. But yeah, um, this is super nice. And like I said, I always wear my seatbelt, but just when you're in a parking lot moving a little bit to go lock the gate at work, uh, this is just going to make it really nice not to be hearing that chimes and dinging and it getting louder and louder and annoying so like i said this is supposed to last until the battery dies or the battery gets unplugged all right guys i just rolled up in the garage as you can see i do not have my seat belt on and this thing normally this thing would be dinging and jinging away 
Guys, I believe this is only for the front two seats. I think if somebody is in the back that it still will uh, send the chime off. But I'm pretty sure this trick is just for the front two seats, which I think is awesome. Um, well, anyways, guys, if this video helped you all out or you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, guys. It really does help out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell so you get all the notifications. Check out Panda Motor Works and Auxedo. All the links and discount codes are in the uh, description box below. Guys, until next time.